Well, some notes from uh, the scrimmage. Uh, you know, I think we're more athletic on defense. We scored twice on defense. Um, DJ May picked up a fumble and went all the way, and then Rico Gafford had a really nice pick. And while you get concerned because there are turnovers offensively, what it does show us is we have more speed on defense, and which we were really lacking last year. So encouraged about that. Other things defensively, I think Carl Granderson has got some really exceptional ability to, to uh, rush the passer. So that's encouraging. Then a young guy that made a nice pick, Elijah Halbert. Uh, that's what showed up on defense. Uh, offensively, um, you know, I think we're going to have the ability to stay on the field uh, better on third down. Uh, and I thought Josh had made some nice throws today, but then along with that is ability to move. You know, he, he runs under 4'7". For a guy that's 6'5", uh, it's good. And so utilize his ability there. Uh, he's still a little bit uh, green. I mean, there was one throw in the red zone that I wish he wouldn't have thrown. It should have been picked, and it wasn't. And so hopefully he's going to learn from that. Uh, we had Brian Hill limited in his action. He did uh, have two touches, but uh, we wanted to at least get him tackled and somewhat game ready. But uh, we needed to take a look at some of our other younger backs. And I thought, I don't know what Nico's numbers were. But it was over 60, I know. Yeah, over 60 he, he was pretty good. And so we're pleased about that. Kicking game has improved. Um, you know, we hit a 32 yard field goal at the end, and most of our kickoffs were. I think pretty deep in the end zone. And uh, and the other thing too, you know, I need to credit the, it first started with Tim Miles. Uh, this is kind of joking, but Tim Miles once told me, I need to have Larry Scheid evaluate our football players because he's a great evaluator <laughs> of talent. But I do think we found a good football player. Um, Austin Conway did some exceptional things today. The uh, long run and then uh, along with that, um, had a really nice punt return. So I think he'll, he'll look, but uh, you know, it'll, it'll probably be our, our punt returner. And so, Carl, we're going to meet here and just you can come on in two seconds. Okay. Um, but some good things uh, uh, with uh, um, uh, Austin Conway. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, questions? Do you feel like you, you started to get a picture of the depth chart mm -hmm. or started to get a picture yeah. of backups and stuff? We'll, like we'll, we'll be able to, after another week, sure. formalize that. But some things are. You know, really starting to come into play. Uh, we won't announce anything, uh, Scotty, until next week. But yeah, I think we're seeing what guys now have had to practice repetition. Now they've been out on the field. Um, and I thought for the first scrimmage, uh, we were a little bit sloppy uh, with some of the things. We had a jump uh, and a hold, and those things are typical. You got to clean those things up for a first game. But outside of that, I thought our guys played pretty clean. So. So did Rico have the other touchdown then on his interception? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know we knew Rico was a hundred meter champion in Iowa, mm -hmm. and I, I don't know what it was, low ten something. He can run, and it's been good to have him out there. And you know we were abysmal with our speed and athleticism in the past defensively, and I think we're starting to upgrade there. I know it's a double edged sword, but you got to be excited about defense forcing some turnovers. Mm -hmm. I mean I know that was a priority kind of coming into this. It certainly season. is, you know, and that, I think we need to. And that's usually an indication of players playing with more confidence. Uh, so they're more aggressive, and then also just more athleticism. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're not a finished product yet, but we're certainly making progress. Tackling coach seems to be better. I thought it was better. I didn't see, you know, there was one run where I saw some missed tackles, uh, but that, that was improved. Mm -hmm. And some of that comes into um, athleticism, number one, two, fundamentally being sound, being in the right spot, and then hustle and, and pursuit. <clears throat> Those are things when you have more guys around the football, it's easier to tackle. Did you do Did you do a, a game simulation in terms of kickoffs? Mm -hmm. You did. Did Cooper kick off? Yeah. He did. What, how, did how did you like I that? thought I was well pleased. I was standing in the back, but uh, he may have mishit one, but the other ones were well hit. Really? And, yeah, and that's, you know, that, that was an area where we needed significant improvement. Last year, Ethan Wood did that. Mm -hmm. uh, he was our punter. It's tough when you double up and, and you do a different skill set. And so for Ethan to focus specifically on punting, I think it's going to allow him to be a better punter. And we're well pleased. And you know, for a freshman, uh, Cooper hit all his extra points and hit a nice field goal, had good uh, good trajectory on the ball, and the ball came off the ground fast. So we're pleased there. How do you feel like Josh has been protecting mm -hmm. the football so far this game? Um, you know, 
he's coming along as far as really understanding. He, he has a great deal of confidence, which is good. Um, I think he's going to need to recognize that the level of competition that he's going to play, those guys that we're playing, they're going to ball hawk the ball. Mm -hmm. And so he needs to probably listen to Coach Vegan a little bit more, but he's getting better. I don't see as many um, just uh, fly by night, hey, I'm just going to be a gunslinger. We're reeling that back. Uh, the thing is, though, you don't want a quarterback to be timid. Right. You know, that guy's got to have confidence. And so we're, we're, we're pleased with that. As I said today, I thought there was one throw in the red zone today that I was disappointed in. Oh, guys, I would say one more because okay. I, I have another practice, so we better get the players uh, in here just pretty quick. Just two weeks before yeah. the, the start of the season, two weeks from now, do you, you starting to get a feel for this team and, and where it's at? Yeah, if you know what, but I'll tell you what, as a coach, I said earlier, you really don't, as a head coach, until you get in the middle of like the first half, then you start <laughs> to see where you're at. Uh, but we're encouraged. Uh, you know, more guys, just more pieces in, in, in play. We certainly, you know, there are a lot of sophomores that are out there playing. You're going to see fewer freshmen playing, true freshmen, mm -hmm. uh, but still a lot of sophomores. But we're encouraged, and I uh, really like the attitude of the guys. Uh, um, that they're, they're more focused. We have not had any of the distractions. Uh, and so that's, a, that's another sign of some maturity, more guys getting bought in. So we're two weeks out. I know to our players that may seem like to an eternity. I can tell you as coach, you think it's just going to be right around the corner. Mm -hmm. Timmy, one more on the offensive line, just yeah. on the switch, coach. Yeah. Wait, wait, yeah, we, were, we were pleased with that. Now, we worked Ryan today, uh, but I, I think, uh, you know, from my perspective, uh, Chase and then Gavin Rush probably will be a little bit better for us. Uh, we're going to continue to obviously work those guys uh, to see combinations, but we're pleased with that with that move, and uh, so we'll go from there.